welcome to my kitchen. Now that we all know the basics of how to make a delicious smoothie, what a green smoothie is, what the challenge is, it's time to jump right in, start blending smoothies, and start benefiting from them. As we go along, I'm going to be throwing little tips at you, things that I've learned over the years in the health field, and hopefully this will make your job a lot easier, a lot more convenient, and a lot more enjoyable. Tip number one is this. Anytime I mention a bunch of greens in the recipes, just assume that I mean the biggest bunch that you can find in the store. So for example, if a recipe calls for one bunch of kale, that's Sergey speak for go find the most massive bunch in the entire store and buy that one. Another tip is this. I use fresh fruit and frozen fruit interchangeably in my smoothies. So some days I go to the store and I find that the mangoes are really ripe, I buy them fresh. Other times mangoes tend to be out of season, but they have frozen mangoes in the frozen food section, so I buy those. If you can't find fresh, use frozen. I already mentioned how sometimes frozen fruit is even riper than fresh fruit because they harvest that fruit ripe, freeze it, and then you benefit accordingly. Now the last thing that I want to note is that there are many different types of Vitamixes out there. We already discussed this a little bit. For this entire series, I'm going to use the Vitamix 2500 Ascent series. This is an awesome new model that they make. It has a nice digital dial. It also has some presets. So, you know, you could go to the smoothie preset, turn it on, and it'll blend it for just the right amount of time for the entire thing to pulverize, which is a very handy feature. Okay, so I'm going to throw the greens in first, because that will ensure that they blend all the way. Once I have my greens in there, I'll do mango chunks, because they're right there. Bananas, you, want to, you definitely want to peel these things. One thing I love about the Vitamix is that because it's so powerful, you don't really have to chop things into tiny little chunks. You can throw them in largely whole or in big fat chunks, like strawberries, you could do them whole. Now you may notice that I'm leaving the greens on the strawberry on. I'm doing that on purpose, I'm not lazy. This is called a green smoothie, we've already been over this. And what are the tops of strawberries? You got it, they're greens. So they have nutritional value, we leave those guys on. And last but not least, we've got a pint of water. We pour it in, and we blend. Once the smoothie is nice and smooth, we're going to carefully lift the lid and we always want to try the smoothie first before we either drink it ourselves or serve it to somebody else because if it doesn't taste good nobody's going to drink it and the whole point of benefiting from these smoothies is making sure that you get them every single day so that's one of my rules always test the smoothie it's absolutely delicious what do you know okay so these are my other favorite little thing. They're glass quart jars. And this one's made by Ball. There's other brands, but you know, quart jars are awesome. Glass isn't porous. It's not like plastic. It is a very clean vessel. So I just prefer whenever possible to keep my smoothies in glass because that way I know that nothing bad, nothing, no chemicals, nothing is getting into my smoothies. They, they stay pure. If you're watching in Europe, this is basically a liter jar. Quart and liter, they're more or less the same thing. So as you can see, we made a little too much. That is okay to drink in addition to your quart, the more the merrier, or you can share it with your kids, your loved ones, your friends. But this is essentially what I want you to do every single day for the next month drink one of these. It doesn't matter if you drink it all first thing in the morning or sip it continuously throughout the day. What matters is that every single day you put one of these in your system. 